Okay, guys, we're here at the 25 yard range. Ooh, hang on a second. I'll plug myself in. I'll be taking all shots out of the 14 round magazine. It just so happens that the gun gets about. It just so happens. <laughs> It just so happens that the gun gets about 30 to 35 really consistent shots. So the two 14 round magazines work great. Fill your two magazines, take all your shots, refill the gun. As I, as I noted in part one of the review of this gun, it's shooting hot at 1050 feet per second with a 10.2 grain pellet. That's 25 foot pounds and a 177 caliber. And I admit, I'm a huge skeptic of guns that shoot this hot. So. Um, let's determine the best pellet at 25 and then head on over to 50. JSB 8.4 grain, 4.52 head diameter. JSB 10.2 grain, 4.52 head diameter. And Barracuda Match by H&N, 4.52 head diameter. And let's get shooting. Okay guys, I'm sitting outside the 50 yard range here because um, that's pretty congested with shooters in there right now. I don't want to step on their toes with my camera equipment. And hopefully you can hear me over a little bit of the westerly wind as well as the sandhill cranes down there making whoopee. It's springtime in Wisconsin. Uh, this is our original target with these three from the 25 yards. I shot at these two targets for 50 yards. I shot at this target with JSB 10.2s and this target with JSB 8.4s. My first four shots with 10.2s went through this hole right at the tip of my middle finger. Four shots through there. The fifth shot was a half inch higher there. But I don't think I pulled that shot. And the reason why is I saw that pellet flash at me. And when I see a pellet flash at me, it usually means that it's losing stability and starting to whirly around. The sun is at about two o'clock with respect to the shooting range. And I caught the flash from inside the skirt right there. At 25 yards, I saw no sign of pellet instability, but at 50 yards, I think I'm starting to see it. And then the next target with the 8.4 grain JSBs, which is right here, it's a little more than a half inch group. Those, I had three of them fly straight and I had two of them flash at me. In short, I think this gun is powered too hot for 177 caliber. <laughs> what I'm going to do is set out shotgun shells at 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 yards. And I'm going to take shots with the slow motion camera through the Hawk Sidewinder scope here. That will be able to tell us, hopefully, if the pellet is actually losing stability and at approximately what range it is. All right, let's line up some shotgun shells and see if my suspicions are confirmed. This first shell is set up at 10 yards and for the next two more shells you won't see any wobble to the pellet at all. However at 40 yards we start to see a slight wobble to the pellet. It's kind of hard to see without the leaf background here. And at 50 yards we can now see some definitive wobble. Here it is at 60 yards, and you can clearly see that the pellet's done about one and a half spirals. It wasn't the greatest footage, so I decided to go one step further. I aimed for the same spot on this pole for 11 shots. This is 70 yards. And what's interesting here is that you can see we get a pretty good group. However, that is only because the wobble or instability of the pellet is somewhat predictable. 
if you put out your target at 70 yards with this rifle, it could be possible to still get a good group with it. But that good group is almost worthless because the pellet's wobbling back and forth an inch, inch and a half. So how in the heck are you going to know where that pellet's going to be in flight with respect to different distances? It's about the same thing as trying to predict where an electron's going to be as it orbits the nucleus of an atom. I do plan to actually dive deeper into the subject using a chronograph and getting some really hard data in an up and coming video. I was going to do it in this video, but decided that that information is probably useful to more people than just those looking for information on the HW100. Basically what I'm going to do is start the rifle shooting at 1100 feet per second and continue shooting it past its sweet spot for pressure so that the pellet speed continuously slows down and I record each one of those shots so we can see at what speed the pellet stabilizes. So I would love very much to get my hands on either a 12 foot pound version of this gun or the FAC uh, 30 foot pound 22 version. I think either of those rifles would have lived up to the expectations that I had for this gun. So I want to make clear when I don't recommend this gun what I'm talking about is this gun in this caliber at this power the HW 122 caliber FAC or 177 caliber 12 foot pound. I have no doubt either of them would be a fantastic rifle. This one just had too great of expectation from a 177 caliber pellet because I think it's fantastic in every other way. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you at the next video.